You know, if I'm writing, I keep the door closed and nobody sees anything until I'm done. I'll write the entire thing and then I'll put it away for a couple of weeks and try to forget about it. And then I'll reread it aloud and try to polish it up, make sure that I have a book. If it feels like I have a book. And then, and only then, will I share it with other people. My name is AJ Hartley. I'm a novelist, a Shakespeare professor and a novelist, and I wrote um, Secret Machines, book one, Chasing Shadows, um, in close consultancy with Tom DeLonge. Um, this will be my, I don't know, my 14th novel, something like that. I was born in Preston, in Lancashire, Northwest England. I was uh, raised there, I, I lived in the UK until after my undergraduate degree. Then I lived in Japan for a couple of years, and then I came to the US and went to graduate school at uh, Boston University, and then I taught in Georgia for uh, 10 years, and I have been teaching in, at the University of North Carolina in Charlotte for the next 11 years, where I am the Robinson Professor of Shakespeare Studies. I think that what I like about writing is the, the idea of creating reality with words and nailing an experience with a phrase so that the feel of the words you know conveys what it is to be in that moment yeah i always wanted to be a writer and i think that in some ways becoming an academic um, was a way of uh, of keeping me in that world while i was writing fiction um, until i was in a position where i could live off writing fiction a lot of what's at the heart of this book is about people discovering something for the first time. It's really interesting. I think it's not an accident that of all the characters that we chose to write, that's the situation for all of them. It's all about ordinary people discovering something extraordinary. As the subject matter of the book was unfamiliar to me and I had to do a lot of research, and as we were saying before, not just research into the unexplained aerial phenomenon uh, issue, but also into you know what it means to fly a fighter plane. You know that kind of unfamiliarity and distance was there in the characters as well. That I was trying to write people who had very different experiences for for me, from me, and I think that that's actually the tension. In a sense, that's the tension for all the characters. That each of them runs into something where their their worldview is challenged by their experience and then how they adapt to that and what it releases in the process. For me it's in the words. The story's in the words, the fun is in the words, and I, I love sentences. I love the way that they, you know, that, that you get excited about the moment and that's what I mean about characters doing things that you didn't expect or scenes going in a slightly different direction. And you step back from it and say, well, that's not quite where I thought this was going to go, but I kind of like the way it's... And it feels very organic that way. I like that. Yeah, coming up next, uh, after the first Secret Machines book, uh, we'll have more Secret Machines books. Um, and then I have another young adult sci-fi novel coming out uh, with To the Stars called Cathedrals of Glass, which is also a three-book series. Because I grew up in a working class area, there was not a tremendous amount of reading around me as a kid. Um, and I was lucky in that I was introduced to a book called The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe when I was about, I don't know, 10 or 11 or something by a teacher. And that was one of the first books that I'd read that I was excited about. And it's one of those uh, books about escaping from ordinary kind of miserable everyday reality and discovering something incredible and then discovering that the thing that is incredible also has problems and issues that you have to deal with you know but that idea of ordinary life being disrupted by extraordinary things um, by that sense of that awe in the true sense of the word you know that that sense of something that is just startling and that reconnects you with your 10 year old self you know, I like that. I'd much rather go back to the kinds of stories where I feel like you're experiencing something sort of thrilling and exciting and, and fun. And if you can work in some serious stuff along the way, if you can deal with real issues, real ideas, real feelings, that's Shakespearean.